Hi, Dan McConnell again, and what I'm going to look at this time is the back part of the Essential 24. In a previous video, we looked at the Dirty Dozen, which was on the front, which ended in a clinch and a stomp on the top of their foot. From there, to continue with the Essential 24, you'll pull their shoulder and push with your forearm on the other side. You could grab their arm or their shirt, but your hands are behind his head, hopefully. So it's a pull and a push to get behind them right into a cross face. Uh, what are you aiming for? You can aim for the septum, the bridge of the nose, but you want to get their head back so you get some positional control. They'll, they may be tugging at your arms to get out of it, but once their head is back, you want to slide into a rear naked choke, which is nice and tight. Make sure that their chin is somewhere in this area so that it's nice and tight, nice tight wrap. From there, they're going to be struggling or you may be sliding out or losing control. So again, you'll go for positional control and get their head back. You can go under their chin, you can fish hook, you can go in their eyes, whatever landmarks you can find to get their head back will work. Once their head is back and in position, there's an elbow to the occipital region. You can look that up if you're not familiar. Basically, it's the bottom of their, the back of their head. So you're here, elbow, hammer fist to the kidney, hammer fist to the same region on the back of their head or the back of their neck. Then you're gonna to transition to the other side. It's the same thing, elbow, hammer fist, hammer fist, back into head control, a knee to the spine or the butt, and an oblique kick or a stomp. The purpose of that is to buckle their knee so that you can drop them.